Hey everybody, I am Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Tourist, and we're on a road trip with Karen and myself. It's a little cold here, I don't like filming in the winter, but we couldn't pass up a chance to come to Providence, Rhode Island. And what is Providence, Rhode Island really known for? Federal Hill and its great restaurants, Brown University, the doormat of the Ivies, and of course, the Patriarca crime family. Here we're at the tomb of Raymond Patriarca, he was the uh, mob boss for the New England Mafia, also known as the Boston Mafia, the Providence Mafia. They had operations all the way from Rhode Island all the way up to Maine. He was a mob boss for 30 years and oversaw all the operations. Now, I'm getting ahead of myself. How did they come to this country? Uh, in the early 1900s, like most crime families, they came from Sicily and settled in the Worcester, Massachusetts area. When Raymond was four, his family moved here to Providence, on the, actually in the Federal Hill District. Now his father ran a liquor store and um, a bar, and Raymond liked to uh, work a little bit at the, ho at the hotel as a bellhop and also shine shoes. But an unsavory element entered into his father's bar now and then, and he figured there's a lot easier way of making money. And in his teen years, he was arrested for auto robbery or auto theft, assault, uh, robbery. If it was illegal, he was doing it already as a teen. By the time he was in his 20s, uh, Providence police basically named him public enemy number one. He was kind of a local scourge. Um, but in the 1950s, he took over uh, the Patriarch uh, family uh, business, which was crime, and he was the head of the mafia for about 30 years. Now, in, I believe, 1970, he was indicted for both murder and conspiracy to commit murder. Uh, for the death of several associates. Uh, he had, um, he was caught basically uh, through wiretaps and uh, the confessions of the actual hitman. Uh, I believe his name was John Kelly. Now, John Kelly uh, was a very much feared uh, hitman and he actually did the hit that Raymond was uh, convicted of. Um, interestingly enough, uh, Mr. Kelly lived uh, in the Federal Witness Protection Program for another 30 years before he passed away. He is also the same hitman, allegedly, that the CIA brokered to take out Castro. If you remember, there's allegedly uh, a hit put on Castro. John Kelly was one of the hitmen that was going to go to Cuba. So obviously he led a very interesting life. Now, Raymond is buried here in section 21 of Gate of Heaven Cemetery, single gate, because we only know there's only one gate to heaven, Gate of Heaven Cemetery in um, East Providence, Rhode Island. And he's in the back, as you can see along the tree line. Uh, he's the fifth large mausoleum in a row, and you can find him very easily in the back. Now, if you want more information about the New England mob uh, and about the Patriarcha family, come to my website, thetombstonetourist.com, and you're going to get all your mob lore and stories and all the trials. I basically simplified his career. He lived a long life um, and did uh, a lot of interesting things. We'll leave it at that. Again, I am Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Tourist. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.